key to backside surfing pig dog variations. There's no one singular pig dog, and there are a few principles for the various variations, not all of which are covered in this video that I'm gonna go through here. So this is some surfing in New Jersey where I'm a goofy foot going right, you just flip it if you are a regular foot going left. It's the same principles, just different feet apply. You can practice all this stuff at home, all these poses. Feel free to pause the video at any point to look at the various different poses. And again, I'm gonna go through the intricacies on the slow-mo versions. So we have two more slow, two slow-mo versions of these sequences uh, where you're gonna see the various little components to try and practice these. Okay, here we go. Slow-mo one. Number one, no matter what kind of board you're riding, you got to keep your legs over the tail of the surfboard. None of this works if your legs go wide. None. So this kind of pig dog is the pig dog from the takeoff. Most of them in the video are. Here you see the knee is tucked under, the front knee is a lot higher, and I'm skimming my right thigh and arm and leaning forward to tuck myself into the wave and to slow myself down. Most of these waves I'm going to be trying to slow myself down, so there's a big difference between slowing yourself down and speeding up in the tube. You want to speed up when the tube's moving fast and you want to slow down to get deeper in the tube. So a lot of the pig dog is modulating your speed as well as staying in a compressed smaller body position to fit inside the tube so that your shoulders fit inside there. I'm not going to be inside the tube in all of these waves. Um, in fact, I never get really deep in any one of these waves, which is helpful actually to see the pig dog position. Okay, here we go. Another takeoff. I do a little bit of kicking when I'm on the shorter board. Again, the legs are together, chest goes high, get to my feet. My front hand immediately comes off. Little airdrop there. I don't quite get in the tube, trying to get my feet correct. That left hand stays on the rail, and that one I dragged no part of my body. You can see how much higher the front knee is than the back knee. Another really key component I'm just going to mention right now, there is no point in which the top of my foot or my shin are on the board. The other thing you want to notice is that my front foot is over the stringer for the most part. It's not on the outside rail. I don't have a cockeyed stance. That's because I create enough space to get my chest up and my leg, my front leg under. Okay, again, legs are together, getting underneath the lip, scratching underneath, chest goes high, feet hit, and that front hand is using to drag here. I'm gonna tuck that back knee under here. I'm gonna use my butt to try to get a little bit deeper in that one. Never quite got in, but because my toes are down in the back, it's easy for me to get out of the pig dog and kick out of the wave. So if you're trying to do pig dog with your shin or the top of your foot on the board, your back foot, it's not going to work because you're not flexible on those parts of your body. Here's a takeoff where no pig dog, into a little bottom turn, and then right when I see the wave is a little hollower, I go down into the pig dog. Again, tucking that back knee under, and I'm really leaning back on this one to try to slow myself down. Again, never got in the tube. As soon as I see I'm not in the tube, I get out of the pig dog. So it's really to try to fit inside the tube and to have control on a crazy drop. This one, no drop, but this one I'll go through uh, in the next slow-mo. So you can see I'm doing a lot of modulating here on that back toe, able to pump a little bit to get down the line of this fast wave and the body is off the wave, because that one was fast. Okay, so here we go from the top. Legs are together, chest goes way up, half second, feet hit, front hand, this one I'm gonna drag, the knee is tucked under, and then I'm going to move that front hand forward. You see pinky up, and I'm just going to lean slightly into the wave, tuck my body onto it, keeping that center line. And then as soon as I'm out, I let go. And I'm on my feet, able to kick out of the wave. All right, next one. Chest up, feet hit. A little bit of spray here, so it's hard to see this part, but wait for it. 
This one I see the wave is maybe going to close out. So right here, I'm going to get my butt up a little bit higher beyond my toes so that I can straighten out in front of that close out. Again, you really need that toe flexibility so that you don't hurt your knees in this position. If you don't land on your back toe, toes, the toe pads, you're more likely to hurt yourself. So you wanna make sure that both feet land on the bottom of your feet. Steeper drop here. Gonna use my hand to pull the rail forward and now I'm not dragging any part of my body, just staying over the board out again as soon as i'm out i let go of the pig dog there is no reason to hold the position if you are not going for a tube kick outs are also something that everybody wants to get good at all right here we go Getting under the lip, not standing up too early. You got to get in the waves or you're going to get chucked. Pushing the board down. Feet hit. This one I'm going to drag the hand a lot differently because I'm going to try to slow myself down. I sit my butt down. Really leaning back. Again, look at that back knee tucked under my back arm. Not pointed out towards the beach. Not in the tube. I kick out. So you want to think about your front hand as either pinky up or pinky down, either dragging or guiding forward. Here's the one where it's not a pig dog takeoff. I make the drop, look down and see the wave about to get hollow. I'm going to get in the midline and just kneel down. That's something you can really practice at home. Kneel down and then I'm going to lean back to try to slow myself down. That was a pinky down hand drag. Pinky down is for slowing yourself down. Pinky up is for going faster. Okay, and here's the adjustment. You can see how I'm modulating my speed with that back foot on my toe pads back there, and that way I'm able to push and pump inside the tube. As soon as I'm free of it, hands come out. All right, practice these at home and then in the surf.